Good morning and a happy Sunday to you. My name is Innocent Satiki and I am so excited to be able to share the message of God with you this morning. God has been so amazing. God has been so good. He keeps on doing amazing things. And I know in the position and situation that we are in right now, it feels impossible to imagine a bright future. It feels impossible to imagine a bright new day. We're weeping in joy for a night within this time and our joy that is coming in the morning it feels impossible to see it but let me tell you it is coming in the morning a day shall come where Africa South Africa and the world shall rise again and stand again and we would have conquered this thing called COVID-19 let's get to the Word of God today my message says women were the first to arrive at Jesus's tomb isn't that exciting this is something that we never thought about yesterday as I was studying the Word of God as I was just reading the Word of God I discovered this and it came as a revelation to me hear me out you see sometimes you read the Word of God and there's certain things that we miss certain crucial and important things that we miss in the message but this time when I read it I got a different revelation now the woman who first arrived at the two ooh, all right let's let's read the Word of God but here's the subtitle nothing in history can compare to it and this comes to 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 the resurrection and 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 the and, and and this entire story of Good Friday and what we understand of it nothing in history can compare to it I'll prove it to you let's uh, go to the Word of God in the book of Matthew 28 verses 1 says early on the Sunday morning as the new day was dawning Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb now I'm going to read different books so that we understand the, the, the different stories because they all wrote in different ways and how they understood the story but here's the one thing that's essential the core of the story remains the same the realness of the story of the resurrection of Christ remains the same even though the events might be different between Mark Luke John is different but the context of the resurrection remains the same Mark 16 1 verses 8 says when the Sabbath was over Mary Magdalene Mary the mother of James and Solomon bought spices so they might go to anoint Jesus's body very early on the first day of the week just after sunrise they were on their way to the tomb and they asked each other who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb and I continue for but when they looked up they saw that the stone which was very large had been rolled away and they entered the tomb they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side and they were alarmed and he said do not be alarmed you are looking for Jesus of Nazarene who was crucified he has risen Woo, Jesus he has risen risen I will say that for the third time he has risen he is not here see the place where they laid him but go tell his disciples and Peter he is going ahead of you unto Galilee there you will see him just as he told you I'm going to read from the book of John real quick 20 verses 1 early on the first day of the week while it was still dark Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance notice that John only only uh, uh, says it's Mary Magdalene who went to the tomb so she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciples the one Jesus loved and said they have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we don't know where they have put him therefore Mary Magdalene became the first officially appointed person to spread the good news of the resurrection of Jesus therefore I say to you this morning woman you were appointed to be the first people to witness the resurrection power of Jesus when I read this I was like wow women were the last people to be there after Jesus was crucified they stood there by Jesus until they took Jesus and put him in the tomb they were the last people to experience 
experience and to witness Jesus being put at his last place of rest. Behold, it was a woman to come back to the tomb and witness Mm, 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 mm. the empty tomb and when she got there she realized that the stone which was put on the doorway where Jesus was laid was removed now you can imagine the shock but behold there was an angel that says do not be afraid I know who you are looking for you are looking for Jesus the king of kings he has risen he has risen here is the miraculous move Jesus was not an ordinary man we see and we witness that there was power that was put historically this doesn't make sense scientifically this does not make sense but with Jesus all things are possible and now the angel said to her listen I know who you are looking for you are looking for a Jesus you are looking for Jesus of Nazareth he is no longer here but he has risen how can this be how can this be that on the third day he rose again here is a responsibility to you women it is time for you to take the good news the good news of the resurrection of Jesus the good news that our King of Kings our Lord of hosts has not died but is now living a responsibility was given to the women I encourage you today and say arise and shine go and spread the good news of Jesus we don't know what happened to the church where women were removed they missed this revelation they missed the part they were the last the first people to experience Jesus's power resurrection power they were given the responsibility to say go and tell them the good news it could have been the disciples it could have been Peter it could have been John it could have been anybody but Jesus chose a woman to be the first person to witness the resurrection power from the tomb as I as I close I want to ask you as, as, as the church can we not miss this can we not miss the power and authority that women have can we not miss the strength that we have can we not miss this gift that we have can we not miss that Jesus came from a Virgin Mary can we not miss this revelation you are equipped in the name of Jesus you are empowered in the name of Jesus take up space take up position do not be afraid go and spread the good news of Jesus remember what the Word of God says in the book of Philippians 2 5 therefore God exalted to him the highest place and gave him the name that's above every other name that the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven on earth and under the earth in every tongue they shall acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to glory be to God the Father and our King he has risen it's the third day let's celebrate let's shout out let's go down on our knees and pray and be grateful for what was done for me and for you from myself Pastor P and our beautiful daughters we love you and God bless you